Okay, guys. We're here. The bike, of course, how it's locked up. Lots of bugs. We're at, it's called the Crook, Crook Slide Park or something like that. So, the GoPro 360's down there. You probably already watched that video. I had to come up here quickly. Back to my bike, so. We go down, check the GoPro, and then we go for a hike. If it's a little shaky, um, it's because I don't, I'm just walking right now. I don't have my, my thingy, because the GoPro 360's on it. Yeah. Obviously, you probably can't make that out. Crook Slide Park was officially opened in 1976 to honor the heritage of the lumber and logging industry in our area. The chute is representative of the original slide that was used to ferry logs down to various river systems in the Madawaska Valley. Okay, so yeah. Now we're walking, guys. I'm going to address There we go. Hey, no one said any steps were involved. Yeah. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. Might not be anything up here to see. Oh! I don't know why someone put picnic tables in there. A picnic table. Probably a bunch of punks. Huh. Oh yeah. There's the That's the shoot guys. Oh Heck yeah. Oh this is already bloody cool. I love it. Look at it, it's just so freaking beautiful. So obviously logs came down here, someone down here, I bet by the looks of it. Yeah. yeah, there's no bugs up in this neck of the wood. I love this stuff. Anyone ready to go for a swim? Maybe if it was freaking warmer out. I'm walking this way. I don't know if it's a trail or there's anything. Oh, there's a trail down there. That probably just goes along the river, but we must go and explore. Trippy, lost in, on Madawaska River or something. That's what it's going to be. At least we have Tipsy to run the store. Oh. It just goes down. Oh, Mayor, keep going. Whee! Oh, oh, jump, jump. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That's her. Just a different view, I guess. Okay, we walk back out of there to these rocks. And we're going to see if there's anything to see up here. Like I said, that's all of them, I, I think. Oh, that might have been all, guys. Oh, geez. Maybe not. Maybe we walk. That's a trail. Yeah. We found trail. Oh. This is when I need the fishing rod. That just goes around. Oh, there's a trail there. Up there. Maybe we go up there.
Yeah. I did, uh, yeah, I got my keys in my pocket. Whew. Definitely worth it. And it was just do a little quick video of the falls. I had fun on the ride up. And I don't know where I'm taking you. Um, huh. But the path just kind of. That might be her, guys. That might be it. Hmm. That doesn't so much look like a trail to me. But we're walking it. Yeah, no. No trail. Definitely not a spot where you want to venture off into the bush but there was a decent trail unless you have a compass which I do just not with me okay we walk well we uh, me and you guys walked across that bridge just so you guys know I am here myself and I seen the cabin it might be a trail it might just be a cabin so we're going to investigate on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Oh, there's tire tracks. Yeah, there's nothing back here other than ruts and some kind of a cabin. Some kind of a. Whatever that's supposed to be. Oh, is there a trail? No, that just goes around. Oh, okay. We're back here. I want to know where that bridge is. We're going to investigate. Oh, yes, we are. Ah, what can I say when they come for you? Private property. Looks like there's a couple cabins. A trailer. Yeah. There's probably no way of getting to that bridge. Yeah, that's definitely somebody's living over there, so. Yeah, well, all videos can't be long. Phew. Yeah, so I think that bridge might be out of the, uh, yeah, yeah. So, guys, I drove this way. Got some nice pictures. Got some nice footage. May not be that long, but it doesn't always have to be that long. I kind of thought it was just going to be what I showed you here with 360. You got a little bit of a hike in. Nothing too bad. You're nothing too bad. Oh, yeah, it's good enough for me to post on YouTube. Maybe by talking here might make it to be a 10 minute video. But yeah, bike's running great. She's a little dirty. And you guys can see a little dirty. Yeah, yeah. The helmet has some little bug guts on it. The exhaust is super dirty. Yeah, nice little pit stop anyways out for a cruise so it wasn't like I just drove up here just for this while well, I kind of did I could have went for a cruise anywhere right but now I can add that onto the list of places I've been right here who knew this place even existed now would it be worthwhile for someone to drive two or three hours just to see this spot that's all depends if you want to pay two dollars a liter for gas which in the U.S. that works out to being like $7 a gallon or something. So, 
It really all depends on what you want to do. Oh, there must be a reserve somewhere up here. Bay, 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 bay. So yeah, it really depends on what do you want to see. Did I think my personal self this is worth the drive? 125,000%. Look at that view, guys, look. I can't do it with one hand. Hold on here. Yeah, see? Poo. It's beautiful, it's relaxing. Yeah. So yeah, I find it, it was definitely, definitely worth the drive. I'm not complaining at all. I even got Gatorade in my bike. So I think I'm gonna have a couple sips of Gatorade. I might get back on the road. I don't know what I'm doing. I might jump on uh, Highway 41, find out wherever that may be from here. Which that leads all the way to Petawawa. My memory corrects me, you're pretty damn close to Petawawa. And then you take it all the way back through like other little towns. You will hit eventually Highway 7 which then if i want to i could keep going straight through napanee or i take highway 7 down and go through tweed which i've been through madoc oh a handful of times easy um haven't been through tweed yet with the bike so hey i might just do it let's have one last look guys just making this video worthwhile guys ah i love it up here it's just so beautiful and yeah, waiting if it was to fall would even be better, but I can't complain right now. Hell yeah, guys. Have a great day. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Only if you want to. You can dislike. It doesn't bother us. And especially now, nobody gets to see it, which I think is kind of dumb. People should have the right to see the dislike, but you know how the world's going nowadays, guys. Oh, can't hurt anyone's feelings. If they see 50 dislikes on the video, people won't watch it. I just never paid attention to that. I just like to know who likes and dislikes my that's what they should do allow youtube should allow you to know who likes and dislikes your videos even if they keep it this way they should still allow you to know who dislikes and likes your videos it's just out of curiosity you know so anyways guys have a great day stay tipsy stay tripping and stay swimming hell yeah cheers y'all